Oh, big all in in the 10k here. Not gonna fold ace king suited. Let's crush. It's an interesting spot, but I definitely see him also reshoving a lot of like queen jack, king 10 suited type of hands. So I think I'm gonna be calling this. I'm calling ace check off, ace 10 suited pretty much. Five K main event here. I'll be checking this board with my hand. It's not a hand that necessarily wants to put in a lot of money. Betting wouldn't be terrible, of course, man. Sam overbets it. This can get quite interesting. And I also have a lot of weak flushes, flush draws. I'm just wondering, like, I don't think he would overbet. I think his most natural overbet blast would be like 8 9, jack 8, 6 5, maybe one diamond. <sighs> and he's probably gonna be bluffing all of those. 8 9. See, value betting ace 10. I mean, it would be sick. I can imagine he value bets ace 10. But what is he doing when he has 8 9? 8-9 off, 6-5 off, he's defending those. Um, he bets so big on the turn, does he overbet with pure flush draws? I would fold my 10-9, 10-8 suited. I'm gonna go with then. Ah, he snaps. I mean, he had just a couple of hundred chips behind, right? So. All right. Spade. Spade is good. Um, pretty good flop for... Not the best board for range. High card to low cards because we're not going to have king 5, king 6 off. Maybe not in the suited combos. Um, it's quite a dynamic board where 7-8s, 4-7s, 4-3 suited are going to be improving quite a lot. And we're recalling this one. All right, turn. It's very common we... Could get rough, could get rough. Unless we just make the nizzets. I mean, he could still have king six and pocket fives and six five, but we ain't folding here. Uh, we just want to jump. It's definitely spot we want to think it through like we probably want to be jamming some king jack king queen hearts to make him fold some of his like if we have king nine or king ten 
I feel like we want to be jamming those to make him fold king, queen, king, jack. I'm actually, the longer I'm thinking about it, he can have weak flushes, right? Like queen, jack, seven, eight, that he's going to be calling a decent amount of the time. Um, yeah. It's just a few boats we need to be afraid of. Yeah, 6-5. I was really considering checking there, but I think the nut flush is too strong. Yeah, this, I think this is a call. His range is gonna be having so many pocket pairs, even hands like queen, jack, jack, 10 suited. It should never have ace, king, or ace, jack, or jacks. So at worst, we're flipping and with the money already being invested from the blinds, we have a profitable call. Unfortunately, it doesn't. We don't get there. Yeah, that's that's good that we get one more overcall, so now it makes the jam very, very, very nice. And also here we just fall by jam or a screen off. Already 11 big bets in the middle. That is unfortunate. That is fortunate. That is unfortunate. <laughs> That's just how it is sometimes in poker. Uh, we threw with the ace and off. We get a very good flop. Mostly C betting small here. We can jam most turns. Has the seven nine? Oh, oh, but we hold. Nice double up there. And uh, we all in in the five k. We lost the hand against European, so I was already quite short. A very questionable hand, to be frank. <laughs> From my side. Oh, we have him dominated, not anymore. <clears throat> Nine does not help us. And we're all in here. Defending the 9-7 off, it's probably just going to be check race, get it in, since we also cover him. I would play for bounty. Like us. Five, ten, seven. Lots of outs. Nope. And we're going to be race calling here. Eastern City against the big blind reshuffle. Less than 20 bigs. He's, he can jam really, really wide against the two of us here. Wow, he overcalled to the 6 5. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, he limp jams. I think I'm gonna call this. Could be too often pocket sevens, pocket eights. Could be sometimes aces, but if he slow plays, I feel like. I think it's more often lower pair or just random trash than actually aces, to be honest.
I mean, it's 32 big blinds, so it's definitely worth thinking it through. 30 big blinds, blind versus blind, queen jack off, we have to call it. Letting here against Chris Moorman. We're three way. I think we block some very strong flush draws. I think I just want to get it in here. This Dr. Pot ratio is kind of awkward because we. Um, oh, that's a, that's a fantastic outcome. Um, he could jam the turn and then we might have to fold so yeah and even if the tenant clubs get there we might not fully stack him so the best way to realize our equity i guess with that stack to pot ratio is just to to get it in we are definitely going to be shoving this one we're still quite ahead against this range Infinity Queen and off against the button min. We have a very, 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 very bad card to go with our dirty checks, which is good. And river is going to be interesting. I'm not sure. I mean, he could easily be jamming all his ace queen, ace kings. Is he? Uh, feel like I have to call this combo in theory. I mean, he could end up there. He raises pre. Yeah, I don't really know what he could have. I think I'm just gonna go and stick to what I think is correct in theory. Nine and. He shouldn't be jamming. He should be jamming something like with a queen and diamonds, not blocking my back doors. Um, 
He could have something like king three in diamonds. His kids have the ace king offs, you know, ace and ace and hearts, king in diamonds, something like that. King three in spades. Well, That's what I was hoping for. We make a straight here on the river and we just go in. And he flipped the boat, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> but if you call somewhat reasonably according to what you're supposed to call, you get you get all the bluff catchers from 9x that have a decent blocker. You, you're gonna get snapped off by Jack 8 and all like any jack. I think you get snapped off by any 10. You just you you represent so little value on this very draw heavy turn. Right? You And then you have, you know, you don't, you open pre, so you have all these king do spades, king three diamonds, king eight, king seven, king six, okay, maybe not king eight, king eight might be jamming. Then you open 15 big blinds, so you probably want to have ace, king, ace, queen in your min raising range to induce regems from weaker ace x. So you might have something like queen seven suited, queen six suited. It's very easy to over bluff this spot. I'm really interested in uh, the frequencies there on the river. Again, I think it's a it's a fine bluff. I think it's what I would call, consider a human improved bluff by him. Um, you just need to be careful there in the spot. I think that I think I'm going to be folding my forex right. And then also the question becomes, yeah, it's uh, just so many details uh, that factor into this hand, whether we want to be calling or not. <laughs> Race call, queen jack suited, this guy just regems five dudes off. <laughs> all right, all right. Gonna peel a four bit here. We're still relatively deep. Uh. Uh. I was hoping for a safe turn, even if he jams. Oh my god. I'm still gonna fold it. He can still have ace, king, ace, queen, right? But even his flush draws have so much equity and against his, against his value, I'm dead, so. And with pocket eights, I'm pretty much at the bottom of my range there. Like even if I have an ace high flush draw, it's just so much better. Uh, ace check off, since he's the biggest stack, he's going to be opening really wide in these decks. I'm just going to be reshelving. Could be calling king-queen suited, king-jack suited, which I don't mind. Cards are relatively fast, which is not good. Oh, we're flipping. Alright, not flipping anymore. Queen or king for a sweat? Nope. Not at all. Oh, Max Kruse, we are going all in against Max Kruse. Uh, 
and we're all in. Ace check against ace four. We hope we hold. Oh, no club, no club. And a low card. Uh, GG. And we're all in the 5k. Good luck us. Very lucky gonna get caught with our stack, yeah. Oh. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we should win this one. <clears throat> oh my god, this is weird with this deck size. Oh, he plays a very high VPIP, so I'm just gonna be jamming this. Oh wow, I did not expect this to be honest, chat. The PKO's kinda strange, really, really strange. Can't really get anything done there. At least we make a flash here. Another bullet. We're getting it good, which is the most important. Uh, so let's now think about how we play this. Um, Quite surprising to see him uh, getting in there with success, but he probably just overvalued his uh, um, interesting spot here. His pocket pair there with a the bounty, but my range is just too tight, I think, that I... A goofy three bit here, Cadaver's hijack. Especially when the hearts get there. If it's an off seated nine, we could consider mixing some checks, but especially when we get pocket eights, pocket tens, pocket fives, I only call him once again. His king, queen, king, jack hearts floats. So we definitely want to charge those. Jam the river. Uh, 
I know Snap is good. Wow, he folded. Wow, what a disciplined fold there. Oh no, he called? Did he call him? Or did he... F Wait, did you check the replay? No, he called. Yeah, he called with his eight spades. I mean, it's probably maybe my image. Um, and we still will call Jax. That's a great outcome. Queens against Queens and Tens. Little bit here, which we are going to call it. I'm going to check shove on this flop. He might be bed calling ace king, ace queen. And if he has an overpay, he has an overpay. Interesting, he checks it back. I would go for a check jam on the turn. I think he's not supposed to be checking back a lot on this flop. Um, so I expect a few traps and he can still like go for now protection bet with ace king, ace queen. So I would go for a check jam on the turn. I want to have this bet, which I think he would very often place, which he would also call. But additionally, if he's not aware that he can have some bluffs on this board, I want him to bluff now on the turn. And yeah, we just check jam this. <clears throat> uh, call is not good. Eight. Yeah, we just jam our jacks. Getting it against tens, nines, eights, and aces. <laughs> Club is not live. And we're all in here.
Um, not the worst flop. That's not looking good. Uh, he gets down the river. Okay, this tournament is... Uh, rotating spot, but I think we have to call the river. We limp, he either raises. Goes check, check, flop. Check, check, turn. Uh, especially when we block ace-king, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just a puke spot. He still has too much trash. Like his range is so polarized. King Jack off. Let's go. Forwards with the trips. And we go to the action with the Ace King. At the moment we have a call. I will switch back to the final table. But he folded. So. Alright. Hot boy. Um. I'm not sure whether I want to jam or... I think I'm just going to call and play post flop. Big blind range is very polarized. Yo, chill, I don't thank you so much for the sub. And of course, once we get this board, we go we don't bro we go broke. Because otherwise we can fold preflop, right? If if you always think that our opponents are never bluffing, then you have to fold preflop. Okay, I mean this is a really this is probably the jack, a card where I might cons Oh my god. I don't think we can value gem this. Oh, it saved us. <laughs> oh, we got lucky there. Yeah, but we're only with the pocket kings here. This card certainly saved us. And King Queen off 20 bigs. We just re gem here. The ICM pressure is on them. Kind of sucks when someone wakes up with a hand, but... This is the risk you have to take. Oh, it's ace nine? Dude. It's bubble time. Uh, 
yeah east check we also just redo them here less than 20 bigs uh this gets interesting i think with a bounty i'm gonna call this like there's so many like three five suited four five suited that we have crushed yeah good luck us and even against these two pairs we have an insane amount of equity but and we unfortunately regem our ace check into queens so against this value we will very often we coin flip against his uh like even against yeah and some of his draws we're miles ahead uh here queen at off we have to call blind versus blind fifth big blinds with the bounty is going to be shoving really wide of course he has us dominated <laughs> uh, it's just so painful like He's literally jamming any two. Yeah, I think this 5k was just, it was just not meant to be. We are in 10k, good luck us. Ace nine against king seven. No four, no seven, no king. That's a good card. And we're all in on the final table with our pocket kings. Ah. And we're also in here. We're in the money now. Five big blinds, ace three suited. At least we make a flash draw. And we split and we're all in here. And we have a beautiful 20 big blind regen with ace 10 suited over here. We hope we're alive. Oh, dominated. Oopsie. Now the suck out might work in our favor. Yes, it does. And the regem does not get through. He wakes up with a hand with pocket jacks. Wow. Flats pocket jacks there. Sometimes people are on weird ranges. We win, right? Yeah. Oopsie. And Jack Six suited here, blind versus blind. Easy jam. But we get caught and we're out. But we won. Some money. Yeah, we re jump pocket threes here, 25 big blinds. Fairly standard. Ah, uh, this of course sucks. Ooh. And we have a calling end here, blind versus blind, A7, 12 big blinds. Let's see if we hold. We hold, right? Yeah, A7, we're gonna be calling. No, wait. Ah, no, he... Uh, good luck, us. You must be kidding me, seriously. Is the jamming range like ace 10 plus or? Uh, 
This is cheating. All right, come back might be real. and a 9 only, but it's a 10. And 5 big plants, ace, two, three, gem as well. on the comeback for betting the aces of course and ace five off we also have a beautiful jam by first blind We call the aces and we have two all-ins. Ace five against king seven we hold and also the aces against ace queen off hold. We're back chat! See? Never give up. Never give up. Yeah, I'm going all in. I wanted to induce that someone goes to the top and we just jam here. He's going to be jamming like way weaker hands than ours. And with all the bounties in the middle, we do not win this one. The recording is king off. This is interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna bluff this river if he checks to me. Like, I have king high, queen high hearts. It's a spot where I think he jams every suited hand. Okay. Expect him. He shouldn't be shoving any two, but like 80%, I would guess. Yeah, let's go. Just hold. Do we split? We don't split, right? I don't have time to figure out who won and who didn't. I'm gonna bet the trend as well. Uh, we don't think we have a value bet anymore, so I would just um, 
yeah, check it back and 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 value jam flushes boats. Maybe my slow plate aces with one diamond. Oh, he is king sick. Good, I didn't jam pre. Save me a stack there. Yeah, I'm gonna call a king queen off blind versus blind here. I think his range is just, just just too wide, and there's no sick short stack that we wait two orbits and he's busted. So <clears throat> we're definitely gonna call this one. Good luck, Aschia. That's a big one. Oh, it's a huge future game. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Ace King off, we jam here. Yeah, we can just jump against the limp. These snap cards, that's a trap. Four? Four, four, and four, it's... Just make the dirty four on the river, baby. What an up and down, it's so sick. <laughs> oh, he caught. Ace four. Wee, wee, wee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna reshuffle here my ace five suited. Nice spot. Oh, we got a big hand here. He calls with. King 10 here, all right. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right, he just open gems the against our aces. Oh my God, what a sweat. Really? So sick, like. We've sucked out so many times. We got sucked out so many times. I mean, we got sucked out with kings and aces. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna jam this check nine off. I'm getting short. Uh, that's tilting. He wakes up with a hand. What? <laughs> but we see how it went so far on the final table. You have to get it in with the worst head. That's the secret, chat. <clears throat> That's not looking good. Five. Five. Oh. Is it a clock? Oh, Jesus, really. This final table is absurd. This final table is absolutely absurd. Is that now closer because he's now catching up, right? Um, wow. I mean, he's not shoving. I don't think he's shoving ace, king, ace, queen suited. No, we didn't win a million today. Thank you for the sub, though. <sighs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not jamming. Anything that has a dominated. Maybe ace jack off, that crap. Um, Uh, 
not just a fort. Finally, we can jump into him. He also has an ace, right? No. <laughs> ace queen, we just jump ourselves. It's not important that we don't make big ICM mistakes. I mean, if there's a call where we see, actually future game wise, because if we double up, we can just go so bananas. Ace nine against nine eight, wow. Yeah, it's a good jam, I think. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's not a spade. We have an ace and a five. Yeah, we can go all in. Less than 10 big blinds. I want to fold this big head, honestly, because in this final table, you're losing with big heads. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Alright. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, this table is crazy. This table is just insane. And we got a calling hand here against the button. Oh, that's a that's a rear flip. Wow, wow, really? We are playing heads up against Mike Zhang. We're going to be raised calling King Queen Suda. We can also limb. All options are viable. He likes to regem Willy White. Pretty bad flop. Gonna check race. Uh, oh, gonna check race turn.
All right, good luck, us. Only the king. And we take it down. Oh, big all in in the 10k here. Not gonna afford ace king suited. This could be it. Chat could be it. Yep, GG. Cash for 40k in the 10k it was already day two, so it was quite deep. Keep that in mind. All right, GG. Oh, we're gonna go all in with against Mustafa. We need a jack or an ace. Oh, that's not it. Oh, so much dead money in the middle here with pocket sevens. We just get to jam this. Another one here, two, two six suitors against Jax again. He doubles up again. And to get it in against MB Tremendo. <clears throat> wow, he trapped there with Kings. Eight. Club. Uh, the PKOs are. I lately really struggle in PKOs, not really having <clears throat> deep runs or you know stacks with big bounties or something. Yeah, King three. Good luck. Thank you, John is D. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's a gems. King with three. King or three, and there's the king. Chat, I, am, I have a good feeling. Jack and Sudo, we're definitely going with it. Especially blind versus blind here, of course. Good luck us. Five big blinds. We might still be at it against Dizma. Oh, that's not king four clubs. That's not what you want to see. But as we've seen today on many final tables, we can turn it around. So many outs and the nizzles on the river for the comeback. I'm gonna defend this six seven suited here. I mean, his bounty is huge, chat. 7k, and he can still bet for it. If we get it in against Acer Kings. Ah, uh, I think I'm just. Wait, do we, do we don't cover him? Sorry. Take it back. I take it back. Oh, against this very, very small bet. 
have to call once more. This is where you have to be sticky and now we call it off. Oh, queens you must be shitting me. <laughs> All right, GG. I mean, he could still have some random goofy bluffs and then aces and kings, obviously, right? So it really screams like a, a strong hand, of course, but yeah, you know, and we probably go for a third bullet in the 25k. Unless there is another Jockel. Diamond is not good. Um, I think I'm already reshoving. Oh, do I want to reshove this actually? This is close. I mean, we have a lot of hold equity. Yeah, I think it's maybe against hijack and cut off five handed. 18 big blinds, three to the money. We're one of the shortest decks, so we're not gonna be guaranteed in the money. <clears throat> we definitely need to do something. If I would be in fifth or sixth position, it would look different, but... Let's see what he got, hopefully tens or drags. I mean, he can have all sorts of crap, like Ace-8 suited, what we make him fold. Ace-Queen, yeah. We need a King. Or a Jack, or Spade, no. King and a King only. We need this on the turn. Alright, GG. Let me jam here. He's gonna have some ace high clubs, but it's bubble, you know. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna check back a flush here. Like, good luck. No flash. <laughs> Come on, really? <sighs> and I'm gonna be bubbling this one. Call you. Call in here, yo. Here, yo, Fox. I mean, we're very likely going to be having a, a mighty way all in, so... Seven, five. Six spades. Yeah, hold. 
Holt! Oh, jawoll! <laughs> I check jams the river. He's not rapping a lot, like Ace four, Ace eight. He could be bluffing his four fives, eight fives, all kind of crap. I really want to hero call this chat. We we kept it like Ace check. We. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, okay. I leveled myself a little too much into this call, but it's all right. We can afford it. This is weird. Like, I think he barrels his king nine quite often. <sighs> he has all these random queen five, queen seven. He barrels his queen nine. Sizing is kind of weird. I'm gonna look it up here. Check eight off. That's a good bet. Okay, now with eight big blinds, we don't have a race folding range anymore. And a non ICM spot. Ah, oh, what, what am I doing? I need to do it here. Oh, wait. That's ah, okay. Ah, I cannot. All right, we're all in the tw Oh my God, we're dead. Yeah. Jack, clubs don't have us. Ten, only the ten. Oh, we're drawing dead. Why are we drawing dead? Ah, because we broke his. Oh my God. All right. The song did not bring us luck today. All right, Jax, here we go. <clears throat> Good regen, I like it. No, you're not running, oh, you're running hot. Uh. One, one second, I'm just gonna have a situation. We're just gonna jam here, chat. Good luck, us. 25 bigs. Oh my god, he's calling it. Oh, oh my god, so many outs. Hit, hold. Uh, oh. That's an important one. You asked me what kind of factors play a role. Like, what do you think it, it, it needs to 
to be a full-time poker player. But when, give me one second, I need to focus on the sand. I want to pay attention to what you say. Just having a hand. So chat, Seabed uh, on this board, pretty standard. I think we also want to be second barreling this board quite a lot. Um, even if he's 10-9 in hearts, he's going to be having a tough time now. Um, even Jack-5 in clubs. Um, potentially making him for the queen. If he calls again... Things might get very dicey. I think I'm... Oh, okay, this sucks. This is really a terrible river. Now we want to be mainly bluffing with the ace and diamonds because he improves to jack 10 full house, queen jack that afraid to raise. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give this up. Uh, yeah, this is where we have to be disciplined. He's going to have some queen 8 clubs, queen 9 that we would make him forward, but his range now is just too strong. You can still have jack 9s, jack 8s, king jacks, ace jack off. Uh, ace jack, yeah. Oh, we made it through day 1. So we are through day one with 36 big blinds, 35 left, 30 paid, five more players. When does it continue? On April 25th, which is it's a Sunday. So next Sunday, this one will continue. So we're done for today.